Okay, so this book of Mouse and Mole has four chapters like the last one, except instead of doing each chapter a day, I'm going to read the whole book, so it's a little bit long. Um, I'm going to try to not talk too much in between. Mouse and Mole, Fine Feathered Friends. Fine Feathered Friends is alliteration. They all start with the f sound. When you have the same word or the same sound repeat, that's alliteration. Spring was Mole's favorite time of year. Spring was when the birds came back. Mole was simply mad about birds. He opened the door crack. Whoosh! A gust of wind blew, in, blew his hat off. Remember, whoosh is onomatopoeia, a sound word. Yikes, cried Mole. He ran to pick it up. Meanwhile, Mouse peeked behind boxes. Mouse peered inside bags. Ah, Mouse cried. She yanked off her back she yanked her backpack off the top shelf. Mouse put a sketch pad in the big pocket. She stuffed crayons in the little pocket. Tap, tap, tap. On a monopia. Mouse heard someone knocking. She opened the door a crack. Whoosh. More sound words. A gust of wind blew it wide open. My, what a blustery day, she squeaked. Mouse tied a bonnet onto her head. Blustery is another way of saying very windy. Morning, Mouse, said Mole. All set to work on the bird books? I packed my sketch pad and crayons, said Mouse. I have binoculars, too. Where shall we look first? Mole rubbed his snout. Birds hide in bushes, he said. Let's try the huckleberry. Huckleberry is a kind of bush. Also gives off huckleberries. Mouse looked to her left. Mole looked to his right. There were no birds in sight. Come out, come out wherever you are, sang Mouse. Quiet, shushed Mole. Birds nest in trees, he whispered. Let's check under the pines. Mole peered up the branches. A pine, a pine sis siskin, Mole pointed. Mouse looked through her binoculars. She did not see a pine siskin. Mouse giggled. That's a pine cone. Mole climbed the tree to get it. <laughs> <clears throat> spring is about starting anew, he chuckled. I am starting a new pine collection. Mole stuffed the pine cone in his backpack. Where to now? Mouse wondered. Birds need water, said Mole. Let's go by the pond. Whoosh! A gust of wind blew Mole's hat off. He ran to pick it up. A catbird, Mole pointed. Mouse looked through her binoculars. She did not see a catbird. Don't be silly, Mole. Those are cat tails. Mouse plucked a daisy. She stuck it in her bonnet. Cat tails. You often find these near ponds. Um, it's a great place for the fish and turtles to hide. Um, and it looks kind of cool. April showers bring May flowers, sang Mouse. Mole took a whistle from his pocket. He blew into the end. Purdy, purdy, it called. Somewhere a bird sang purdy, purdy. Mouse spotted a red bird in the thicket. A cardinal, whispered Mouse. Mole got out his red crayon, crept closer and closer. Critch, crunch. Mole stepped on a dry leaf. The cardinal flew away. Rats, muttered Mole. He blew into the other end of the whistle. Purr it called. Somewhere a bird sang, Purr 
Mouse spotted a small yellow bird in the grass. A goldfinch, whispered Mouse. Mole got out his yellow crayon. They crept closer and closer. Crick, crack. Mole stepped on a twig. The goldfinch flew away. Double rats, said Mole. He found another whistle in his pack. Mole blew hard into the end. Quiddle, 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 it called. Somewhere, a bird sang, quiddle, quiddle, quiddle. Mouse sparted a large blue bird in the oak. A blue jay, whispered Mouse. Mole got out his blue crayon. They crept closer and closer. Splash, splash. Mole fell. Mole stepped in a puddle. The blue jay fell away. Flew away. Phooey, grumped Mole. Birds must be afraid of mice. <laughs> How will we ever get close enough to draw them? Mouse just shook her head. Mole sat down on the stoop. Burl t bird twirled her tail. Ugh. Mouse twirled her tail. Birds may be afraid of mice, Mouse began. Or maybe they're afraid of moles. But birds are not afraid of birds. Are the birds afraid of the mouse? Are they afraid of the mole? Are they afraid of the noise? Mouse and mole, Mouse told Mole her plan. That is a crazy idea, chuckled Mole. Shall we begin in the morning, Mouse suggested. In the morning we begin, agreed Mole. Whoosh! A huge gust of wind blew Mole blew Mole's hat into the tree. Mole Bird and Mouse Bird. It was still dark when Mouse knocked on Mole's door. Tap, tap, tap. Morning, Mole, said Mouse. The early bird gets the worm. Mole stretched. Oh, Mole yawned. Oh, the worms are still asleep, he mumbled. Mouse set a box on the table. It is time to get busy, Mole. She took an old dress from the box. First, we cut the cloth into leaf-like shapes. Mole raised a paw. What kind of leaf, Mouse? Oak, he said hopefully. Oak leaves were Mole's favorite. Not oak, said Mouse. She held up a willow leaf. Snip, snip, snip. Mouse cut the dress into leaf-like pieces. Next, she cut a red top. Mole took a pair of old pants. Snip, snip, snip. Mole cut the pants into leaf-like pieces. Next, he cut up a green shirt. Now what, said Mole. Mouse took a sweatshirt from the box. With a needle and thread, Mouse sewed a cloth leaf on. Mole put on his sweatshirt. Mole stared at the scraps of cloth. This will take forever, he gasped. Mouse twirled her tail. Mole rubbed his snout. I have a better idea, he announced. Mm. Mole rummaged through the cupboard and found a, glar a jar of glue. Put your sweatshirt on, Mole ordered. Mouse zipped up her sweatshirt. What now, she asked. Mole spread the glue on the front of Mouse's shirt. He brushed the glue on the brat on the back. Mole handed Mouse the brush. Now do me, he said. Mouse spread the glue on the front of Mole's sweatshirt. She brushed the glue on the back. What now, said Mouse. Mole pushed all the cloth leaves off the table. They big, made a big mound on the ground. Mole lay on top of the pile. Mouse lay down beside him. Mole and Mouse rolled to the left. Mole and Mouse rolled to the right. The scraps of cloth stuck to them like feathers on a bird. Mole hopped on the table. I'm a mole bird, he, crowned, he crowed. See me fly. Mole jumped high in the air. Mole flapped his arms like mad. Flap, flap, flump. Mole tumbled to the ground. Mouse just shook her head. I'm a mouse bird, she giggled. Your fine feathered friend. Mole bird gave mouse bird a high five. 
Now, why are they dressing up like birds? Because they want to get a good picture of birds, and every time they get close, they see the mouse and the bird, the, the mouse and the mole, and the birds fly away. And they hear the sound. But maybe if they're dressed as a bird, the birds won't fly away. The nest. Mouse and mole circled the oak tree. Twigs and sticks littered the ground. Now that we look like birds, said Mole, we should act like birds, said Mouse. Mole collected twigs and sticks. Mouse tied them in a bundle. Oof, oof. They pulled the bumble, bundle up into the oak. Together, Mouse and Mole built a nest. Whoosh! A gust of wind shook it apart. Mouse twirled her tail. Mole rubbed his snout. He remembered something about mud and nests. I'll be right back, he said. Mole scrambled down from the oak. Mole filled a bucket with mud. Together, Mouse and Mole packed mud between the sticks and twigs. Much better, said Mole Bird. Much, much better, said Mouse Bird. They sat down in the nest. Ouch, yelled Mole. A stick poked Mole's bottom. Ouch, yelled Mouse. A twig jabbed Mouse in the back. Mole rubbed his snout. Mouse twirled her tail. She remembered something about grass and nests. I'll be right back. Mouse scrambled down from the oak. Mouse filled a bucket with grass. Together, Mouse and Mole padded the sides and the bottom of the nest. Much better, sighed Mouse Bird. Much, much better, sighed Mole Bird. They took out their sketch pads. Purdy, purdy, chirped a red bird. The cardinal flew down beside them. Mole nearly toppled out of the nest. You were right, Mouse, he whispered. Birds are not afraid of other birds. Mole Bird gave Mouse Bird a low high five. He opened his box of crayons. They stood in neat rows by color. The ends were nice and pointy. Mole selected a red crayon. He began to sketch using light strokes. Mole dumped her crayons from the pack. She picked out the red one. The end was rounded. Its paper was torn off. Mouse pressed down hard on the pad. Snap. The crayon broke in two. Whoops said Mouse. Mole was too busy drawing to notice. After a while, the cardinal flew off. A black capped chickadee took its place. Chick, 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 chickadee, dee, dee. It called. Mouse liked mimicking bird songs. Chickadee, dee, dee, sang Mouse. Chickadee, dee, dee. Mole was too busy drawing to notice. All day long, Birds came and went. Pretty soon, it got too dark to draw. Mole stretched. Mole flapped his arms. My, how time flies, he chuckled. Mouse and Mole packed up their things. They climbed down from the nest. Good night, feathered friend, said Mole Bird to Mouse Bird. Good night, feathered friend, said Mouse Bird to Mole Bird. Some artist, some poet. Mole spread his drawings on the floor. Mouse tacked her pictures to the wall. Mole looked at mouses. Mouse looked at moles. She stared at, one of, at the one of the cardinal. The lines were neatly drawn. The colors were blended smoothly together. Mole had used mostly red. He added purple to the shady parts. There were flecks of orange in the sunny parts. Mole's drawing looked so real. Mouse could imagine the red bird singing, purdy, purdy. This is magnificent, she exclaimed. Mole blushed a cardinal red. You are some artist, Mouse declared. At the bottom, Mole had printed C-A-R-B-I-N-A-L. 
The letters were wobbly. Some leaned to the left, others tilted to the right. Cardinal is spelled with a D, Mouse pointed out. Whoops, said Mole. Sometimes my letters get flip-flopped, he explained. Writing is not my thing. Mole stood by Mouse's picture of a cardinal. Mouse had printed C-A-R-D-I-N-A-L neatly at the top. A poem was written at the bottom. Mole read it out loud. A cardinal is red. It has a pointy beak, a pointy head, a strong beak it needs to burst open seeds. Ooh. Mole shut his eyes. He could imagine a seed in the red bird's beak. Crack. Did you make that up? Mole asked. Mouse shyly nodded yes. You are some poet, declared Mole. Mouse blushed a cardinal red. Mole studied the sketch of the bird. The lines were all jiggly. This foot has seven claws, Mole pointed out. Whoops, said Mouse. Mouse had colored the red bird orange. Some purple was scribbled on top. My red crayon broke, Mouse explained. Drawing is not my thing, she added. Mole looked at Mouse. Mouse looked at Mole. I have another crazy idea, she began. What if we take your pictures and my poems to make one book instead of two? Mole hopped to his feet. He rushed out the door and down into his hole. Mole came back with glue and more paper. Mouse fetched scissors, a needle, and thread. It was time to get busy. Step one, Mouse and Mole cut out the poem and pictures. Step two, Mouse and Mole brushed glue on the backs of both. Step three, Mole arranged and pasted everything on new sheets of paper. Step four, Mouse stitched the pages together. Our book is done, she announced. What shall we call it, said Mole. Mouse twirled her tail. How about Mouse and Mole's bird book? Mole rubbed his snot, snout. Perhaps Mole and Mouse's bird book, he suggested. Mouse looked at Mole. Mole looked at Mouse. I know, he exclaimed. We can call it Feathered Friends. Fine, Feathered Friends, Mouse added. With poems by Mouse, chuckled Mole. And pictures by Mole, giggled Mouse. Mouse Bird gave Mole Bird a double high five. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. It's a little long. I'm going to have just a few questions. Um, and then next week we're going to start Frog and Toad, who are similar to Mole and Mouse in that they're friends and they have adventures together and they have to solve some problems together.